What's up you guys? Logan Freeville here and today we're going to be learning Old Church Choir by Zach Williams. You're watching Logan's Lessons. Alright, let's jump right in. The intro and the verses of the song are exactly the same. And there's a, a very distinct pattern where it switches between two chord progressions that are very similar. So let's check out what that sounds like right now. <laughs> So as you can see, the chord progression goes F to C, G to A minor, and then it does F to C, G, and then G again. So the only difference between the two chord progressions is the changing of the, um, the A minor to being just an extra G. Um, the, chord per, like the chord strumming pattern um, is two to down, down, down. So it's like down, down, on, like two downs on one chord and then another down on the next chord. And then it'll do the same thing. So that would be F, F, C, G, G, A minor. And how you play those chords, for the F you're going to put your third finger on the third fret of your D string, your second finger on the second fret of your G string, and your first finger on the first fret of your B string. That's going to make an F chord. Then a C chord would be your third finger on the third fret of your A string, a second finger, your middle finger, on the second fret of your D string, and a first finger on the first fret of your B string. So far you have then for a G chord, in case you don't know, you would put your second finger on the third fret of your E string, your first finger on the second fret of your A string, and then your third finger on the third fret of your B string, and then your pinky finger on the third fret of your high E string. And then for an A minor chord, you put your first finger on the first fret of your B string, your second finger on the second fret of your G string, and your second finger on the second fret of your D string. So all together, you have. And that is exactly the same for the intros and the verses of the song. Okay, so now that you got a good grip on what the verses in the intro should be, let's try to nail that course. It's gonna be the same exact chord progression, but it's the only thing that's going to change is the strumming pattern. And this will be true for the chorus and the bridge. So the entire song uses the same exact strumming pattern. And this is what it's gonna sound like. So we already went over the chords, and it's going to be the same exact order of the chords too. The only thing that's going to change is the strumming pattern, and so you're going to play the strumming pattern like this. And so what I'm doing is I'm just doing down strums. gets the G, you do exactly what you would do on the verses the intro. So it would either be or be. So all together you have. I should also mention that the F and the C chords are palm muted. It's the difference between that and. So now 
you have the verses and the chorus. There's only one part of the song left to learn, and that would be the bridge. This is where the whoa, whoa, oh's comes in. And it's gonna be very simple. It's a lot like the chorus, but it's just slightly different. I'll show that to you now. So the only difference is that for this part, you don't add the, um, the G, G, A, or the G, G, G. You just play everything like the F and the C in the chorus. So it'll sound like this. stops and holds out at the end of the bridge where you're just going to hold that G and then you're going to go straight back into the chorus and then end off the song and everything will be great. That's all I need to teach you for Old Church Choir by Zach Williams. You now have all the resources you need to nail that entire song. I hope this video helped and please if you have not yet please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Um, it lets you know when I release new videos and if this video helped you learn this song, I'd very well thank you for hitting that um, thumbs up button there at the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. This was Logan's Lessons.